Hi everyone. In this video, I'll guide you through the process of setting up a FM radio transmitter with radio data system using Raspberry Pi. First let's mount the Raspberry Pi OS Lite image on an SD card, I have included the basics for those who are just starting out. Unload the Raspberry Pi imager from the official Raspberry Pi website and install it on your computer. Open imager, select your Raspberry Pi model, and for the operating system, choose the latest release of Raspberry Pi OS Lite. You can either install it from online option or, if you've already downloaded their IMG file, like I already have, select the Use Custom option to load it manually. Next, select your SD card as the storage device. For writing the OS to the SD card, configure a few essential settings. Get the host name. Define a user ID and password. If you want the Pi to connect to your Wi-Fi, enter your SSID and password. Choose your locale settings. In the Services tab, enable SSH for remote access. Once everything's set, click right to start the process. I'll speed this part up to save time. Once the SD card is ready, remove it and plug it into your Raspberry Pi. Now, let's find the IP address of the Raspberry Pi. You can either check your router or access point to locate it or use an IP scanning tool. Personally, I like using IP scanner. Just to find the IP range of your network and scan. Found it. Now that I have the IP address, let's connect via SSH and start the setup. First step is to run the update and upgrade commands. This updates the package index and installs the latest versions of any installed software. Once that's done, reboot your system to apply the updates.
Next, I'll install the dependencies, starting with Libsyn file. This library handles audio data for our FM broadcasting program. Now, let's get the PyFMRDS repository. If you don't have Git installed, you can install it with a simple command. Then, clone the repository to create a new directory. Navigate to the source folder, clean up unnecessary install files with the make clean command, and compile the executable file by running the make command. Now, run the program. By default, it broadcasts on 107.9 MHz. You can stop the transmission by pressing Ctrl plus Z. This program can broadcast both stereo and mono audio files in WAV format. To test it, I'll transfer some WAV files to the Raspberry Pi using an FTP client like WinSCP.
Once the files are transferred, let's run them with a custom command. Here's the syntax. Define the frequency, I'll use 87.50 MHz. Choose the audio file. Set the program identifier, PI, and radio text, RT. For example, I'll set the identifier to Farhan, so it displays on RDS compatible radios. Test. I'll use my old Nokia 106 with earphones as a makeshift FM receiver. Since I'm not using an external antenna, the range is limited, so I'll keep the receiver close to the Raspberry Pi. That's it folks. I hope this tutorial helps you set up your FM transmitter using a Raspberry Pi. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave any questions in the comments below. See you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.